Man, it's so uh, nice to see you again. You won't remember this, but we met in London a few years ago on a set visit for Hannah, and you were you were so nice. I'm excited to talk with you again. Uh, oh, this cool! Movie, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. This movie's awesome, and I was I was uh, thrilled to see that you had joined Scream. It's going to be really hard to talk about this without spoilers, but we're going to try. Uh, now, no spoilers, but when you were reading the script for Scream Six, did you correctly guess who the killer or killers would be? No. <laughs> no, the script was really tricky, um, as is the film. They're so they're so pro at it, just towing that line and some misleading, obviously. But, you know, we're all looking for that when you're watching a Scream movie. You're actually looking for the red herrings as much as you're looking for actually who done it. Um, so I was I was definitely uh, tricked. The reveal uh, plays great in in the edit and in the um, the way everyone played their roles. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I agree. Now you've had such an incredible career. This is not the first horror movie that you've tapped into, uh, but you've also you've appeared in just about every genre of film there is. As a fan, what's your favorite film genre? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, this month definitely. Um, you know. Horror comedies, <laughs> but um, uh, I'm yeah, westerns would be my best answer. Um, so I did one last year, um, The Warrant Two, Breaker's Law, which you can find on the Inspiration Network. Well, I love a good western. Content. I haven't seen that one, so I'll go check it it's, out. It's coming soon. Um, so enjoy that, and hopefully more. Uh, where that came from it seems like that uh, genre seems to be back, or uh, you know, uh, you can. You can get one made, maybe. So let's yes. uh, let's hope so. There's, and then there's um, been a few real good ones come out the last few years. That's what I feel like, like last, too. So the last decade, there's been some some really solid ones. So hopefully, we can build on that groundswell and just keep them coming for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, now, same goes for Scream franchise movies too. So Scream <laughs> Seven, anyone? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Now, my fiance and I have had passionate arguments of, over which one is better, my best friend's wedding or the wedding date. And I'm just curious if you have a personal preference between the two. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm so grateful for both of those movies, the, the people I work with. There's no, you know, it's like it's like your children. You can't say that they're you have a favorite one. Um, and I can still sometimes can't believe how beloved those movies are and how passionate people are about them. Um, it's just, it was a magical time. I guess a uh, wedding date was in the early two thousands or right around then. Um, so it lasted into there, but that 90 cinema where we still, what um, we still believed in love and, and, you know, happy endings and things like that. Um, so those movies may be um, more challenging to make now. People are gone through a lot and um, you know, maybe more jaded, um, yeah. but to make not too obvious a segue, they're totally into scream because of all the, uh, you know, because of the, not that, uh, because of the mayhem and the, uh, and the fear. So, uh, you know, that's what movies are for all of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I am on team, my best friend's wedding. So I hope, I hope you make a sequel and uh, I would go watch my best friend's divorce any day of the week. Uh, right on. Jeremy, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I really appreciate Here's it. To you.